Hey, so today I'll be watching a new anime series called The Genius Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt, Episode 1. And at first, I was very apprehensive about this anime, since to me it seemed very similar to the anime called How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom. And I never really could get into that one, and when I saw the trailer for this anime, it seemed silly because like, it involved a kingdom, a bunch of women, etc. So I was like, mm, I don't know. But then after seeing a few clips on YouTube, I was like, this seems really funny, I want to watch it. So I'm really hoping that I'll like this anime. うん。皇帝はその仮想の幕府と化している <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <笑>嘘です。この国の隅っぽりはそんなんで解決できません。無理。絶対無理です。人目がなくなるとすぐだらしなくなるんだから。もう<笑> That's such a different approach than most princes. True. <笑>お忙しいのにごめんなさい今はよろしいですか問題ないなおまいがかつてナトラと同等だったマーデンの国力は金鉱山の発見により大きく飛躍した政治的失策から目をそらし自ら <笑>そんなことを。あれれ。もしかしてあいつ勝手に盛り上がっちゃってる。めっちゃやる気だよ。いやいや、軍を動かすと言っとんだけか。あ、もうね。だな。<笑> Damn, being called out. Oh. How can you recognize them? Wow. お前たちが誰よりも気高い勇気を持っていることならば今のお前たちが弱兵である理由など一つたりとも存在しない我らが北方に座す竜であると大陸に響かせよ我らが地上最強の軍隊であると行くぞ今こそ歴史を塗り替
私と万有を吐き違え愚かにも我らの進撃に歯向かおうとするつもりだ注意せよ奴らの血でこの荒野を染め上げるのだ Oh my god. It's possible. Ah, oh, well, that explains it. He's like, yeah, but no. Oh, that's true. He said he didn't have しかし、ムランデル大使は受け入れてくれた。結果、大陸でも屈指の強さを誇る帝国軍の主砲を取り入れ、さらに帝国から潤沢な資金を注ぎ込まれた我が軍は、みるみるうちに成長した。マーデン
まさしく殿下のおっしゃる通り狙うのならジラード金鉱山しかありませんいや驚き申したまさか我らが以前より密かにジラード金鉱山ダッシュ計画を練っていたのは殿下がご存知だったとは<笑>我らが勝利で浮かれている間にダッシュ計画の実施の可能性に資料を巡らせていたとは真として恥じるばかりです殿下<笑>早速進軍の激をこのままジラート金鉱山に攻め入りましょう<笑>ごめんねリー<笑>マーデン進行決定しちゃったわねほどほどの勝利だったならストップかけられたんだけどな<笑>じゃあゴビにニャンをつけてくれるなら考えるはいはいはいどうしたのかなニニムニャンお前の好奇心はこんな程度の恥すら乗り越えられないもんなのかニャンわかったニャンわおマーデン側が対処する前に金鉱山を奪い取るって口にするのはたやすいけど難しいわよニャンだがつまずけばそれをナトラ軍の撤退理由に使えるだろう<笑>その時を待とうねそうねねそうか思ってたんだが取っちゃったんだよなオッケー取っちゃったのよねでそしてあればビクトリーはだよ何つけてよOkay, so this anime was not at all what I expected it to be. Because most animes, they'll have the crown prince being like super mature, who cares a lot about his kingdom, his nation, trying to build it up, trying to make it better, trying to be a good ruler. And he's just like not having it. He's like, no, I don't want this. You can't make me have this. I will sell this place if I need to. And if he plans to do that, I have a question for that. He has a younger sister. What's gonna happen to her if he sells the place? Right now, he's very into like, oh, I wanna do this. So I don't have to deal with this huge responsibility, but what about his sister? Couldn't he just abdicate the throne and give it to his younger sister? I mean, it happens in real life. Queen Elizabeth II's uncle, King Edward VIII, did just that when he was once king. In order to not have the responsibilities of being king and being able to be with the woman that he loves but his family refused to accept. But, anyways, I digress. Now, another thing I want to point out about Prince Rain was that he reminded me a lot of two specific anime characters. The first being the anime character Kumoko from the anime So I'm a Spider, So What? Because of their difference in personalities. Where, like, on the outside, she acts a certain way, but on the inside, she could be, like, freaking out or just thinking of a bunch of things. But you can never really tell, like, on the outside. Which is similar to Prince Wayne, since he puts up a front and he's like, Oh, yes, you people are important to me. He's like, yes, I care deeply about my nation. But in reality, behind closed doors, he's like, I hate this. I don't want to deal with any of this at all. And I get that. Taking care of a kingdom, and especially the one that he said to inherit, it doesn't seem like it's very prosperous or there's much of a point in really having it. Which makes me question, why did they build a nation there in the first place if they don't really have a lot of resources and most of their kingdom is taken over by mountains? But then again, having a kingdom like that, there isn't a huge chance of being invaded because who would want to take over a kingdom like that? There's no point. And the second anime character that he reminds me of is the character known as Ainz Ul Gon from the anime Overlord. And the reason why is because of their uncanny ability that although they don't have a lot of faith in their plans sometimes, they usually work out. Like when Prince Wayne suggested that they take over the mine and he's like, it's impossible. And he expected those guys to be like, it's impossible, are you crazy? But they're like, we're so happy we're on the same page. And he's like, what? So we're gonna go through with the plan. And it worked. And he's like, what? How did that work? I didn't want it to work. This sucks. Why couldn't we just lose? Which is actually another point I wanted to make. So earlier he had said that he wants to sell the kingdom, but in order to do that, he needed to raise its value. And to raise its value, of course, he would need to win wars and bring some sort of profit into his kingdom. And yet when he was fighting against the other kingdom, he was like, why can't we just lose? But if they lose, they would be open to an invasion. And if they're invaded and conquered, then he wouldn't be able to live like his happy life in the end. Because he would be a captive, his whole family would be held captive, and then his friend Nim would be treated terribly. And I'm sure that's not what the prince would have wanted. He seems to care about her a lot, and they have a very interesting relationship with the whole Miao situation. But overall, it's like a very funny episode. I've never really said, oh my god, so many times in an episode, this is like the first I've ever done it in. So I can't wait to see the next episode. Oh, and just like a really quick side note. If you see my other videos, you might notice something different this time. And that would be the fact that my statues that I normally have here aren't here right now. And the reason for that was because my mom made some gifts for her co-workers for Valentine's Day. And I really liked how they looked, so I used one as like a background instead of my normal statues just for a change. 